hey guys welcome back to my channel ng motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative looping animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple tips and tricks and if you want to learn more about logo animation and other stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. We will call it as Main Animation. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, and duration is 30 second long. And background color, I'm going to choose let's say black color. Simply hit or let's say white color. Simply hit OK and hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection. Then press Ctrl Y to create one solid background and we will lock this layer. Then I'm going to select my ellipse tool and for the stroke color, I'm going to choose black color and stroke pixels. Let's choose 30 and by holding shift, I'm going to create one ellipse. Let's increase the stroke width 50 or something around like this. Select this, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically like this. Now select this layer over here and now we will start to animate this layer. Now first of all convert this layer into 3D, press R for rotation, create one keyframe at Y rotation, Just go to around one second, let's make this 180 degree rotation. So if you see you will get this kind of stuff, then go to around two second and let's make this 360 degree. Okay, now select those keyframes and hit F9, then select those keyframes, go to the graph, select this graph. By holding shift move one handle over here and move one handle over here okay you can do this first of all right click go to the edit speed graph and then you will get this kind of graph that you need to adjust so you will get this kind of animation now if you think this animation is quite fast so simply select this and by holding alt i'll drag it up to four seconds like this so if you see we will get this kind of animation now let's select this shape layer and I want uh, their color should change side by side. So first of all let's hide this white solid background and press Ctrl K to open the project settings and we are going to choose red color just for our reference so we can easily differentiate between white and uh, black color. Now select this go to the effect and presets panel and search for fill effect and simply double click to apply and choose white color initially create one keyframe and create one keyframe at color and hit u okay then whenever it's going to flip i want they should change the color so let's create one keyframe hit page down button one time and now instead of white i'm going to choose black color like this and then at this flip again i want this should change color so i'll simply select this two keyframe Hit Ctrl C, Ctrl V, right click keyframe assistance and choose time reverse keyframes like this and go to the last and create one keyframe like this. Now alt click on the stopwatch and type loop out expression on their rotation. Similarly copy this loop out expression, alt click on this color stopwatch and hit Ctrl V and loop out expression. So what will happen? We will get this animation continuously. Okay, now select the shape layer go inside the let's minimize all of this contents ellipse uh, ellipse path and size we will create one keyframe at size and hit u now select this hit ctrl d few times let's say somewhere around seven seven times select all of these layers and in search bar i am going to type size only like this so now basically we need to adjust their size one by one so i'll select this this is my first one this is second so I'll increase the size from here like this. Make sure that it uh, we need some gap in between this. Similarly, uh, select this one and increase the size of this. Let's go up.
okay so all of them are properly adjusted so if you see we will get same animation for all of them now let's make this quarter resolution because this is in 3d it will take a time to load the animation so i'm going to take a distance of 5 5 frames so we can adjust them one by one like this okay like this now select this first layer hit u and let's check out where is the last position of it which is around four second which means whatever animation we are going to do four second it's going my looping point after that my animation should start to loop so let's go somewhere around over here because our last layer starts from here simply select all of them and we will bring this at the start okay like this so if you see this animation we will get this kind of animation after four seconds it will start to repeat itself okay let's select all of this and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as animation and hit ok now 4 plus 4 is 8 so if i go to around 8 second over here and hit n and if you play this as you guys can see this animation is continuously in the form of loop if you see after 8 seconds let's see it's still forming a loop okay like this now let's select enable my white uh, solid layer i'll select this animation layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for drop shadow effect to apply and increase the softness to 200 and opacity to 40 so if you see this animation now we will get something like this now let's select this animation uh, let's change the color not uh, we are not going to change the color but we will reduce the opacity a little bit like this so we will get something like this over here then if you want you can select this right click go to the layer styles and if you want then you can choose bevel emboss go to the bevel emboss and increase the softness increase this size uh, and go to the options over here and change the opacity to 20 like this so we will get something like this okay this looks good to me now after that what we are going to do simply select this press r for rotation create one keyframe go to around eight second and we are going to make it minus one rotation so if you see this now you will get this animation in rotating format like this if you want then you can do minus 2 also let's see quarter resolution and let's see yeah okay and after that if you are okay with this animation then you can use this uh, animation as a final output also but uh, yeah, there is another thing you can play around with is that adjustment layer so simply right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for tint effect to apply and you can simply swap this color then press s unlink this and the scale on this over here let's make this 300 uh, not 30 but 300 like if you see the size of this adjustment layer is like this so let's make this fit and we will bring this over here let's zoom in a little bit make sure the edge of it should touch the center like this okay then right click new and create one null object select this adjustment layer make it apparent with this null select this null press r create one keyframe go to the last keyframe over here we have choose minus two over here we will choose plus two so now if i see this animation i'll get this animation something like this and that is also gonna be in the form of loop so this is how you can create this kind of creative looping animation